just go down one row at a time and it seems like they take, you know, to pick a row and that's where they knock down. Daryl Mueller has been looking after the Springdale Cemetery for 33 years. He says he's seen vandalism here before, but nothing like this. There's no rhyme to reason. It's just whatever, you know, it's small, big, old, new, you know, it doesn't seem to make much difference. Mueller says that over the last month, someone or a group of people has been coming here overnight and tipping over five to 10 gravestones every night. Some of them have been cracked and damaged, some of them worth thousands of dollars. That's just a pain, it's just, it's getting kind of frustrating, you know. It's just an every morning occurrence almost, you know. You never quite know. Well, this is actually one of the oldest sections of the Springdale Cemetery. Some of the graves dating back to actually the early 1900s. And now police say they're ready to catch whoever is responsible for defacing these graves. And they're a little frustrated that they haven't caught somebody yet. It's something that we have to have stop. Captain Bill Greenwalt has been in charge of this investigation since it started a few weeks ago. It's such a disrespect to those that have passed and to the families of, of those that are buried in Springdale Cemetery. But Greenwalt says the cemetery itself makes it tough to catch the culprit, but that doesn't mean they're not trying. With the, the layout of the cemetery being very large, um, it is difficult. Um, we have obviously increased our patrols up there. Um, we're, we're asking the citizens to provide us any information that they can uh, with regards to any knowledge they have of anybody in the cemetery. But if the vandalism wasn't enough, police say the vandals took two large bronze doors from this mausoleum, doors weighing nearly 500 pounds apiece and valued at over $10,000. The average person would probably assume in the same location um, criminal activity is probably related, but the fact that vandalism and theft are two totally different incidents um, it's, it's tough to say at this point. But no matter who's responsible, those in charge of caring for the cemetery just want the crime to stop. Angers you, frustrate you that they can't, you know, that you can't catch them doing it, you know, or it just seems like, you know, you wonder if it's ever going to stop, you know, sometimes. In Clinton, Taylor Umland, KWQC, TV6 News.